It certainly is. A number of records being broken. And the swimmers are on their way out for the next final. Choose the men's 200 freestyle for the S3 classification. There is the lineup Dmitro Vinon Radetz, European record holder in line number one, Sergei Lapchenko. Who's in one, Yanis Kostakis from Greece in two. King Central Dimney. What can he do? The Italian been on good form this week. Dmitro Vinon Radetz. Dominant in this event, he will be the man to beat. Makarov from Russia in five. There is Miguel Ma Angel Martinez Tejelo from Spain. He challenged for the medals. Camilo Toski, well supported by the Polish fans here. Ah, Mikhail Fredriksson. We'll see him get away from the blocks pretty well. He's one of the few swimmers that will go from the blocks here. That predominantly arm disability and he is affected in his legs as well but he is able to use his legs for that good fast start yeah he will see Fredrickson as the only athlete to to get up on the blocks and start from that diving position and that will see him gain the best advantage as he goes through the water but We'll see the middle swimmers straight up and into their strokes. I've got to think that Gino Radetz will be the favourite for this one. Goes in lane number four. Yeah, Gino Radetz actually starting on his side there, so he gets the best he can of the momentum that he, as he throws that starting arm over. And as we can see, that that advantage that Fredrickson gets from the dive has already been eaten into. And Two middle lanes. Makarov's now been now joined Vinoredet to, to go out together. And it's interesting that they choose to use different strokes because they're limited to what they can use. Alexander Makarov double arm backstroke because he, he can't swim on his front. And obviously these these more civilian impaired swimmers they are limited to how they can swim. Well, Vinoredet stroking away very nicely as we expect him. Makarov doing a good job here in second position. Vincenzo Boni, well, he is in third position and with that very high turnover backstroke as well. But Makarov doing very well. Yeah, Makarov, they had an interesting turn in technique. He touches the wall with his hands. And as we've seen, it's very difficult to swivel around when you don't have the use of the legs. So he actually flicks his legs out of the water pool, which he's allowed to do in this freestyle race. Almost swivels around on his back and then puts the legs back in the water and returns to that double arm backstroke stroke. Well, it's very close indeed. Makarov is keeping pace with the great champion, Vino Radetz. And we go into this turn here. We'll have a look at that turn from Makarov there. He goes over in five. Makarov there, he does manage to plant his feet on the wall. He doesn't get much from them, but he does put them on the wall. And he's at a disadvantage in the sense down this 50 metres that he can't actually see Vino Radetz because he's swimming on the back, his back and he's looking at the ceiling. Whereas Vino Radetz on that final 50 metres will be breathing towards Makarov and that might just give him that added incentive to push on. Well, Vino Radetz has got an advantage now over Makarov, he is just looking like he's pulling away slightly. Sensual Boney still in third position. And as they come into the final turn here, I wonder if Makarov can do anything for to challenge Vino Radetz there as they go over to that final 50. There was that turn pole where he swivels and his feet come out the water and he plants them on the wall. He doesn't get a push off though neither does Vino Radet, so it's very difficult to make up any ground off of that wall and into that final 50, so it'll be difficult now for Makarov to catch up this deficit that Vino Radet has created between the two swimmers. Well, Vino Radet is on his way home now. The lead is growing all the time, and it looks like he is going to be on his way to another gold medal performance here. He is unbeaten in this event since the Beijing 
games in 2008. And Vino Radetz coming home again into the last five. And the world record has gone by. We'll have a look at the European record, though. And 3.21.30 it is a new European record for Vino Radetz for Ukraine. He gets in in a European record time. Point six of a second ahead of the existing European record. Makarov in second position and Vincenzo Boni in third position. Well, a very good swim from Dimitro Vino Radetz. His best ever. And he was pushed all the way by Makarov. Yeah, he was pushed, especially down that first 100 metres. He started to look a lot more comfortable in that second 100 metres, but he couldn't take his eye off the ball, and he had to keep pushing on because Makarov was never that far away from him. Well, the two swimmers there, side by side on the lane rope as the final two swimmers come in, Otoski and Fredrickson. Fredrickson. That's maybe with the edge there as they come into the last five, but Otoski getting his arms over a little bit quicker. He's going to have the advantage in the finish, and Otoski does take the touch over Fredrickson and Lapchenko, the final swimmer to finish. Finishes now in lane number one in eighth position, but there's the two gold and silver medalists side by side there. And Makarov really pushed the great man, Vino Rodets. Yeah, and here we see a great straight arm stroke there from Vino Rodets, really maximising. He struggles to put his hands as a good paddle, so he uses the strength of his shoulders to throw his arms over. A good turn from him, and really Makarov minimising the losses in the turn, but in the end, Vino Rodets just proved too strong down that final 50 metres. He did, and he was very, very strong in the first, in the last five metres because Vino Radetz came in in a new European record time of 3.21.30. Shakes his head, a smile from Vino Radetz. He's happy with that one. Vino Radetz is the European champion in a new European record time. Alexander Makarov, the silver, and Vincenzo Boni, the bronze medal for Italy. A good swim from Vino 